So in this video, we're going to look at how you can confidently diagnose NOx sensors and other SCR or AdBlue faults using this relatively cheap tool. This comes in uh, around about $250 compared to the handheld gas analyzer, which you might end up having to spend a few thousand dollars on. So if you find yourself doing a lot of diagnostics and maybe need a little bit more support with that, then make sure you go and check out the Mechanic Mindset Diagnostic Coach Program. We've got professionally made diagnostic courses in there, all instant access via the Mechanic Mindset mobile app on subjects like electrical diagnostics, sensor testing, canvas and networks, petrol, diesel, and oscilloscope and much more. We have a live session once a month that is recorded if you can't make it. Plus you can share your technical problems with our private community. Go and check it out. You get your first month free with code YouTube. Okay, so the diagnostics of NOx sensors can be very difficult, very much a guessing game, if you don't actually know what the NOx content in the exhaust is. Now, as I mentioned, that can be very expensive. So what I've done is come across this tool here. This is the X-Truck Y006 um, NOx sensor tester. It does do a few other things as well, actually. However, not really very well for cars. We're going to come to that in a minute. So in the box, you get a uh, cable for connecting onto various NOx sensors. This one here is for us on uh, the vehicles that we use, certainly the light vehicles. Um, there's a, you know, a, like a breakout lead you could use for yourself. There's a power supply cable, which I don't use. It says that this tool also does exhaust gas temperature sensors, level sensors, and oxygen sensors, a few other things as well. However, for us in this video, we're only interested in the diagnosis of NOx sensors. So let's get this plugged in. Um, it did come with a USB cable as well. However, I've not found a way to update it. Maybe in the future they can make it work with light vehicle cars, but not at the minute. So I'm just gonna plug in this laptop type power supply and I'm gonna connect up this NOx sensor cable into the top here. It was a little bit tight when I got it, but if you just uh, kind of wiggle it around a bit, it will go in and then turn it on. So what we get here is a few different options. Now, if you do work on heavy vehicles and trucks, this tool might be just the thing that you need to kind of diagnose NOx sensors. However, you're still gonna probably want to do what we're doing in this video. So even though this tool is designed for testing the NOx sensor, it doesn't necessarily tell you if it's okay or reading correctly. So what we're gonna do is plug in a NOx sensor that I know works with this tool. So to get to the part that you want to test the NOx sensor, we go to CAN sensor, click OK. Here's the different things that it will test. Look, particle matter, liquid level, exhaust gas temperature sensor. We're just gonna do NOx sensor there. We've got the option then of 20 volt and 12 volt NOx sensors. Now, if you are plugging this into a, you know, a, a NOx sensor, you need to make sure you select the right level. It should tell you on the NOx sensor what you've got. So I've, I've got this 24 volt NOx sensor. This is because I found it's, it's one that actually works with this tool. So when you want to test it, you click OK. It double confirms that it is definitely a 24 volt. And then here, look, we get a list of all these NOx sensors. Now, as I said, I did try plugging it into a NOx sensor on a uh, Audi, and it wouldn't read it. You know, there was an automatic read, and it, you know, it wouldn't find it. But what I wanted anyway was just a good a NOx sensor that I knew was good that I could then put in the exhaust to see if the sensors are reading correctly. So what I went ahead and did is I found a NOx sensor that works with this tool, and I've got that number four there. So you can see on this NOx sensor we've got the 5WK9-6616F. So that's item 4 on here. So let's plug it in. And basically what this tool is going to do is drive the NOx sensor. So a bit of a warning here, it heats the NOx sensor up, it gets very hot. Okay, so just be very, very careful once you've plugged it in and got it running. We're on like this metal bench here and it's um, it's not going to kind of burn a hole through it or anything, but just be careful where you leave it, okay? Don't touch the end of it. 
So what we're going to do now is select our knock sensor. And you can see there that it's gone on and it's give us the output voltage, the current flow of that sensor, and some readings here. Right now, because the knock sensor is cold, it's not giving us a reading. So it's actually starting to heat that knock sensor up. And you can see there that it's doing a heating phase here. As it starts to get up to temperature, we will then start to see a NOx reading on there. So let's, uh, let's see what we get. Okay, so we can see that this is kind of getting up to temperature now. We're at 98%. The end of this will be very hot now. And you can see that it's coming there, look. NOx sensor working properly. And we've got a reading there of two parts per million. We're going to stick it in the exhaust in a minute and see what we get. However, there's one thing that you need to be aware of when testing uh, AdBlue systems and NOx sensors, and that is that the NOx sensors will give you a reading if you spray AdBlue over them. Do you believe in this thing or not? So if your system is putting in too much AdBlue, your NOx sensor is going to read that as NOx, okay? Now, this is where this tool or the NOx sensor differs from the gas analyzer the gas analyzer is not sensitive to the AdBlue. Now what it is, it's the ammonia in the AdBlue that gets read by the NOx sensors on the car. And we can demonstrate that here because um, ammonia is actually found in lots of common uh, cleaning products. Um, so let me show you that now. So we've got our NOx sensor on the bench here. You can see that it is reading, yeah, around two parts per million. If I spray some of this glass cleaner on it, You can see there that we're now getting a reading look. 80 ppm, 100, 130, 150, okay? So when you're testing the system, what it might be very wise to do is actually disconnect the AdBlue injector and to confirm if it's actually reading, you know, AdBlue or it's a NOx sensor fault. So I'm just gonna go and take this car out now to warm it up. It's really important that you get the vehicle up to temperature, proper high operating temperatures when doing knock sensor testing. If you've ever tried to test knock sensors, you'll notice that they keep switching on and off as you're driving because when they cool down, they don't read correctly. So um, I'll go and take that for a drive, bring it back and we'll see how that tool works. Okay, so we're back in the workshop now and it's been sat there idling for a while and what you can see there is knock sensor one is 50, knock sensor two reading 190, okay? So now we're gonna get the X-Truck knock sensor testing tool on the go. However, we're not gonna plug it into our car. We're gonna use the sensor, known good sensor, brand new, okay? So we've plugged it in and you can see there that we're reading around two parts per million on the knocks. So what we wanna do is go and check what we've got back at the exhaust. So remember that our AdBlue injector is still disconnected. So there shouldn't really be any NOx conversion going on. And those two sensor values should be about the same. So which one is lying? Let's have a look. So I'm just gonna get this, you gotta be careful because they're heated. Put that into the exhaust there. What we can see there is we're reading around about 190, 200 parts per million, which is matching up with what we're getting on sensor two. So the problem on this car then, it has to be that sensor one. Okay guys, so I've taken that NOx sensor out of the vehicle and I've actually put that one from the X tool into our exhaust so it fit quite nicely it was the same thread and what we can actually see here we've got about 250 ppm coming out the engine so that just double confirms our issue remember the sensor before when it was plugged in was reading around 40 50 ppm so just connecting that in there and having it match up with sensor two is enough for me to say that that sensor is the cause of our problem. 
So really then, um, the diagnostics of that AdBlue system really came down to disconnecting the injector, driving it up the road and seeing what those sensor values then read. Of course, you don't know exactly what the NOx should be, okay? So having that NOx sensor tool there that we can just put into the exhaust and compare to the live data readings is really gonna help. The other thing that you really need to remember to do is get that system really hot, okay? So it's not gonna work unless it's hot. It's not gonna be producing maximum NOx if it's not hot. So that was another thing that we really had to do there. Of course, if it's cold outside, you're gonna to have to put up with those knock sensors, keep turning off every time you kind of come off the load and things. But the other thing to look out for was that they both kind of dropped to zero, which they kind of did on this one when you came off the load. So um, really that tool there was really useful in um, helping us diagnose that one.